Shall I handle this next introduction? I think you ought to, yes. Here is the missus. <laughs> and she appears in the effect of Gamma Rays on Man in the Moon Marigolds, and she's been just a standing film actress for years, Joanne Woodward. <laughs> Texas, no, I'm you? not from Texas, and I wasn't in the movie. Why are they playing that song? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. When he he's asked prove that he could play it. Huh? The band plays it. The I next see. thing. She's got this incredible bear suit, though. That she wears around. <laughs> so maybe you, that's why they play it. You were the bear in the movie. Oh, say the bear is not here, but we will see the bear later in a in a bit of film. Oh, you're going to show it. I insisted it, yes. that we see it's the bear beautiful. somewhere, yeah. somewhere mm. within the evening. To but prove, first, in we, fact, it is a brilliant performance by that bear. By the bear. Mm. Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah. Anyone else any good? In hmm? the... I love Say. it. It's my favorite performance. One of my favorite performances, of course. But I'd like to see when he plays character roles. He's a character actor. You, you must trust him. You've put your career in his hands now. You've let him direct you. And uh, you've let him direct one of your actual children. And, uh, <laughs> and you... Uh, actual and you as opposed to what? Uh, and, well, <laughs> as opposed to the artificial yes. children. Oh, I you see. see yes. everywhere they <laughs> All right. Um, and you've just turned yourself over to him. Was this before or after you saw a film called The Secret War of Harry Frigg? <laughs> I like The Secret War of Harry Frigg. I never I saw do. it. You never somebody saw it? told me it was You can a, see it on television. I never saw it. Well, it's I, funny on television. I heard it was a 20 megaton... <laughs> 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 but I, I, never, I never... Suffered from overkill. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe people who tell me about movies anyway. Say, you are so good for your age. <laughs> and, uh, no, I'm saying, kidding. <laughs> there's no way to not sound vapid on a, you know, on a talk show when you've seen somebody's film and you have them on as a guest. But Marigolds is just really something. And I, I didn't even say anything backstage, so you probably thought either I didn't see it or I didn't like well, it. No, or, I didn't know what you meant you, by saying I had to see Marigolds this week. And I thought, what does he mean by that? I had to see no, it. I mean, I wanted to, yeah. I think it was only, I don't feel I have to see a guest's films, but I want to do. Mm. And you like it? Oh, yeah, it's so good. And that kid, where did you get the job? That's uh, your daughter is so wonderful in the movie, and yet I heard you say somewhere, or maybe it's an interview, saying that she doesn't act in it, that you uh, uh, that she behaved the role in the way. And I'd like to know what you mean by that. You or maybe it was said what? for you by somebody. No, Paul <laughs> said it. Yes, which yeah. I think I think legitimate. Yes. First, let yes. me. Go. Hmm? She has a lovely kind of turned-in kind of quality that is yeah. very introspective, and it's uh, as I say, it's not it's not really so much acting. It's just. Uh, being, having the right quality of behavior for that character. Yeah. Now, did this represent a, a, a turnaround in your thinking, or was there a time when you didn't want the children to be on the screen? Uh, oh, I don't think so. We're f great believers in nepotism. Now was in Rachel, too. Yeah, mm. but I mean, was there ever a time when you had a resolution that the children would stay off the screen and we so stay So long as it's a family project, I think it's okay, but I don't think I would want to. Uh, the children in any other films, unless they were like documentaries or nature films or something. <laughs> this is the same. This is the same daughter who was in the Eagle and the Hawk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nell Potts. Nell Potts. Yeah. yeah. I think she didn't go. Was she Nell Potts in that? No, she used her own name then, but uh, because it was a documentary. How did you arrive at Nell Potts for her screen name? She arrived at Nell Potts. Well, yeah. I, she was. We used to call her Nell Potts when she was a baby, and when she. That's a kind it, of nickname. Yeah, and when it came to Rachel. I don't know why, but she very specifically was, was Nell, wasn't it? That decided she wanted to be known as Nell Potts. I think she just wasn't going to be sort of, you know, a sprig. She was going to be herself, she made which she is, definitely. Didn't want the family name on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Yeah. The Eagle and the Hawk was, um, where was, what state was that in? Where Idaho. Was in? Idaho, yeah. 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 Are you involved in the environment? Um, to a, Wait a minute, Parr didn't get a siren his opening night. Oh, yes, he did. That's right. So we involved that was the first in the 12 minutes, though, you couldn't hear it. I'm, I'm, I'm at, by <laughs> right. No, I meant, are you actively out doing things uh, these days? What uh, with your when, when, busy career? When asked, that, like? yes. Yeah. When, um, I, I'm not actively out doing anything. I listen to myself talk. I can't hear myself talk. You won't be able to hear yeah. yourself talk. No? I listened to myself talk in, on a lot of talk shows for a couple of years, and I think I accidentally saw one once 
I don't remember whether it was this one or some other one, and I heard myself and I thought, I don't think you have anything more to say, so be quiet. <laughs> and so I stopped, and this is the first time I've been bad. Didn't like yourself in, in No, it's college. not a question of li not, not liking myself or disliking myself. I just thought I had to then go away and learn about what I was talking about. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I like yeah. your reaction to our, when I said to you, are you involved in the environment? Because it seems like it's such an easy cliche. People come on a talk show and they say, and I'm concerned with the environment, and, you know, but everybody, it's so fashionable to say that. And, I'm concerned with uh, environment. I have a very good concern with environment and, and on a very basic level. Yeah. And that is when I go for walks, I suggest everybody do this too. Take a trash, a, a sack, and uh, pick up the trash. A I big think one. that's a, yeah, a big one. But that's yeah. uh, that's a very basic concern. I wish people would do that instead of talking so much. You know. Yeah, people talk too much, or else they get into a thing and then they don't follow up on it. Hmm. And 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 somebody said every environmental victory is a stopgap measure because immediately the forces of uh, you know, that you are, that are defeated, let's say, when they, if they win an environmental victory, they start building and coming back. And people have a tendency to hop from one environmental issue to another, and they don't stay on one. Because they feel that the and victory th is total. It yeah. covers everything. And it's it not. It's one There's a good example of that. The uh, President Nixon, to his great credit, about a year ago, stopped what? the poisoning. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, listen to this. You'll like this. Stopped the uh, poisoning on federal lands of uh, predators, which was killing 85% of the animals it was killing were people's pets, dogs, cats, badgers, foxes, a anything but everything but what it was supposed to kill and some of them. And it was just a scandal, you know, going on for years. And he stopped it about a year ago. Now the wool growers are, are sort of sneaking back, and they're going to try to pressure him to rescind that. And people who were for that, you know, should have complimented him at the time, or Governor Love, the Colorado mm -hmm. governor, who now says, I, I'm for it, you know, in those western states. Those people take pressure, but they don't follow up on environmental. Why am I rattling no, on no, like this? No, but I'm glad to hear it, yes. Yeah. You ought to talk about dumping all that cyanide in the Houston Channel, however. Oh, yeah. Cyanide. In containers that they know are going to be, well, About 900 tons of it, I guess. We we must. Uh, on that happy note, here's a here's a message, and we'll be right back. Talking with the the, the Newmans. Oh, I almost said the Woodwards. <laughs> it's good. Listen, like it'll that. help me. It'll help me an awful lot if you do that. Okay. Quite a bit. <laughs> let's let's take a look at uh, part part of Marigolds. It's really uh, quite an affecting movie to see. Uh, Tell us what we're going to see here. Well, I understand from what I was given backstage is that it's a film clip uh, when Beatrice comes home with a wig um, and she sees her friend next door, who we always assumed had been her boyfriend at somewhere along the line, and she goes out and tries to entice him with her wig and then mm -hmm. tries to get him to put it on. Okay, let's take a look at that. Can you roll that and we'll, uh, with that in mind, here we go. Our local stations have a message. We'll be right back.